For the past couple of weeks, I've been receiving messages from my viewers asking me to make a video about the UK Skilled Worker Visa, formerly known as Tier 2 Visa Sponsorship. On this video, I'm going to be talking about this particular visa and how you can obtain this visa, the cost of obtaining this visa, and the website that you can actually go to to search for jobs and be able to get this visa. And if this is what you would want to do or you want to consider working in the UK, I would advise that you watch this video to the end so that you can get the full gist. Perfect. Let's go. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time of tuning in, my name is Steven Ojo and on this channel, I give information about traveling abroad, settling abroad, working abroad. I give vital information relevant to my viewers to be able to emigrate from one country to the other. And if this is important to you, kindly consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and like and hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we upload our videos. Before we delve into this video today, I would like to give this advice to my viewers. Please be very, very wary of uh, people coming to you to say that they can help you get visa sponsorship or that they are agent getting visa sponsorship for people. You know, they charge you very high, they, they give a, you know exorbitant uh, price and they cut away with your money. Be very, very careful. UK government gives this sponsorship and jobs for free to people who uh, have the right backgrounds and willing to come to the UK to come and work. It is free of charge and it is something you can get with, if you, with the right information. So if you keep following our videos or you follow other videos on YouTube relevant to what you're searching for, you should be able to get information that will enable you to be able to do these things yourself. So be very careful giving your money out because when you come to the UK, you might be you might get frustrated because it might not be as easy as you think. Imagine after paying, for instance, ten thousand pounds only for you to come to the UK and you realize that the job you're doing, you have a lot of bills you'll be paying with whatever you'll be any. So it is better you do a personal research, follow travel channels like this to get a personalized information that will help you to be able to do it yourself. So guys, it's no longer news that the United Kingdom, just like every other Western country, is facing serious labor uh, shortage. What the government has done so far is to put all this occupation that they're lacking staff, put them together and categorize them into um, shortage list. So this shortage list is open to overseas or uh, overseas workers to come into the country and pick up these opportunities and for you to be able to do so you need what we call visa sponsorship on the skilled workers visa that is formerly known as a um, tier 2 visa so such is an irony of life because in some part of the world they have human capital but not enough um, labor for them but in this part of the world and some other western countries they have enough um, labor but not enough human capital to carry this labor into effect that is why the world has become a global village through the sharing of vital information such as this so wherever part of the world you are you can actually source opportunity elsewhere and better your life so guys after you have applied to jobs and you have received job offers from the website that I'm going to be sharing with you, then what is next? I want to discuss the financial implication of your visa um, application. If the job you got is not under the shortage list, as I mentioned earlier, then the cost implication is higher because it means you would have to pay for IHS surcharge. That's like your health insurance so that when you are in the country, you can benefit from the healthcare system with that amount of money you pay. So it is usually £624 per year. So if the visa you got is for five years, so it means you have to pay £624 times five. That's a lot of money, guys. So it's not cheap. If it is for three years you got, because some companies would usually give you first three years, then after that they give you the rest so if it is three years 
then you also have to times the 624 into 3 and then you see what you will be paying for IHS or charge and other than that you also have to pay for your visa application visa application is usually around 400 uh, pounds or thereabout depending on the number of years that you have on your certificate of sponsorship so on the other hand if you got an offer under the shortage list and the shortage list the jobs on the shortage list i'm going to display on one side of the screen for you to see so if you get your offer under these jobs like nursing carers healthcare key workers so if that is where you got yours from then you would be exempted from paying ihs surcharge so that's a big difference it means you're not going to pay an ihs surcharge and your application fee is also lower compared to when your job is not under the shortage occupation list so guys i'm going to be showing you how you can apply to jobs under this shortage occupation list and the number one on my list is the nhs if you have health background if you want to apply as a nurse as a carer as a support worker you want to apply as a non-clinical staff i mean they have jobs in nhs other than the clinical one so you can check this website out nhs website which i will display on the screen so when you open this website you type in job you're looking for for instance you you type in nurse or nursing and it will bring out different kinds for you to pick the one that you fit into um you put in your your application and if you are applying as a non-clinical staff you also type it and then another website that you should look into is read.co.uk in this website you have to specify tier 2 visa sponsorship job when you type tier 2 visa sponsorship job or you can add your background to it tier 2 visa sponsorship for nurses then it will bring out the available opportunities for you and you click and make your application and make sure your cv is well couched your cv is properly made to uh, attract the attention of employers to want to give you the opportunity to hear from you and another um, website is ukhire.com just the same way you search on that um, read.co that's how you type it into it tier two visa sponsorship job for so and so and so and you also have findajob.gov.uk. You can also look up LinkedIn. And most especially, and very popular one is Indeed. You can also go on Indeed and type visa sponsorship jobs for support worker in UK or support worker or healthcare worker in UK. And it will bring out the available opportunities. But guys, the most important thing is the way you structure your CV you have to structure your CV in such a way that it will suit the UK style of CV because when your CV is too uh, clumsy or it's lacking of the vital information that the employer is searching for to know about you, they are not going to get back to you. So you have to go to Google and look up UK CV and check the prototype and use it to remake your own CV to, to contain the necessary information that the employers in UK would want to um, see why they are looking at your CV. However, if this is something you are not confident of doing, I'm offering this opportunity to 10 of my subscribers to comment on uh, the comment section below asking me to help them um, remodify their CVs in UK format. And I'm going to be looking at the comment section and the first 10 subscribers that would request for this, I would be helping them to remake their CV. <laughs> and I will tell you how you can send, send it over to me and I will help you to uh, remake your CV to suit the UK format. Additionally, some of these employers would require you to also send along a cover letter. So always seize that opportunity to shine always is that opportunity to introduce yourself and give them a better insight into your background and your passion so it will increase your chances of getting 
a callback from employers as you make your application. The Bible says that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So guys, what are you waiting for? Get off your butt and go all out and search for opportunities that will better your life and your family. Don't, don't stay in one place and complain. Go all out. The world is big enough. If you can't find opportunity where you are, go elsewhere. Keep searching. Thank you.